I do not encourage or condone the use of tobacco or cannabis products. And if you're under the age of 18, you can go ahead and get out of here right now. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be cutting up a backwoods and rolling it into a cigarette with some top papers, you know what I'm saying? I'm very, very excited to do this. I got to be completely honest with y'all because I had a pretty good experience doing this previously where I cut up another cigarello and rolled it in kind of thing. That was pretty good, but honestly, I just enjoyed the backwoods so much that I really wanted to take the rest of what I had kind of thing and just roll it into a cigarette because I, I said I just enjoyed it so much and I think it would be absolutely absolutely fantastic if it was a cigarette so I think without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this up then I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling it and then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a light and let you guys know how it is you know what I'm saying it is a bit windy today so I do apologize if you guys hear any wind noise or anything like that and I know the wind will make rolling a little bit tougher but it is what it is you know what I'm saying it is what it is nothing I can do about that that's just nature I'm gonna be using some top filters today as said I'm gonna be using some top papers today as well and then I'm gonna be using my uh, my, my patented raw self roll you know what I'm saying so I am very very excited for this and I've got my scissors right here as well you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying so I think without further ado let's go ahead and start cutting this up and let's go ahead and see how it is so let's go ahead and cut this one up and I'm just cutting up a little bit kind of thing I'm just cutting it up as we go kind of thing I don't know really how much I'm gonna need but I'm just gonna cut up I think a little bit more than what I need because honestly I don't know if this is going to be good or not. I really do, as said, hope that it's going to be good, but I really have no clue if it will. And I have a little bit of a rolling tray down here, so I was a bit smart and I brought and I remembered to bring that today. So I am very, very glad I did. You know what I'm saying? Very, very glad I did. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get my filter in the machine. You know what I'm saying? I've cut up a little bit kind of thing. This is about how much of the cigar is left kind of thing. So I've cut up quite a bit. And let's go ahead and get my filter in. You know what I'm saying? Let's go and get my filter in. And let's just go ahead and start putting some of this in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if this will be enough although I do hope it will be you know what I'm saying if not I can always cut up more you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying but let's go ahead ah yeah that should be plenty honestly yeah that's plenty like right there let's go ahead and just close this up and start rolling it around kind of thing let's just go ahead and start rolling it around just like that you know what I'm saying start rolling it around and that should probably be good. I'm just going to grab some of the pieces that aren't rolling and stuff like that. That should probably be good about right there kind of thing. This is not going to be the biggest cigarette in the world or anything like that. That's for sure. But it's not trying to be. I'm just trying to make sure I have a good experience. I'm not trying to make the biggest cigarette in the world or anything like that. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and get a paper out though. And there we go. I've got my paper. Let's go ahead. Oh man, it's folded. It's folded over. Oh no, oh no, oh no. All right, all right. It should be all good. It should be all good. Let's go ahead and stick this in there kind of thing. Let's go ahead and stick this in there. And then let's go ahead and start rolling it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And the wind is picking up a little bit. So I do apologize if you guys hear any wind noise or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So my apologies if you do. And let's go ahead and lick this real quick. It's folding, so it's been a, a bit of a pain, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and lick this though. Oh, there we go. And let's go ahead and just finish up rolling kind of thing. Let's go ahead and finish that up and let's see how it looks. You know what I'm saying? I don't think this is going to be a very pretty cigarette. This is certainly not going to be a very pretty cigarette. Oh yeah, this is not pretty at all. This is not pretty at all. I got to be completely honest with y'all, but it is what it is. But I think without further ado, let's go ahead and get this lit up and let's go ahead and see how cutting up a backwoods and rolling it into a cigarette really is. You know what I'm saying? I think without further ado, I got to get my lighter out though. I got to get my lighter out first, but I'd be struggling. I'd be struggling. I completely forgot to get my lighter out, but I think without further ado, Let's go ahead and get this lit up and let's go ahead and see how it is smelling it right off the bat. Smells just like the backwoods, of course, because I mean like, well, it's basically a backwoods kind of thing. So I'm really hoping it still tastes like the backwoods kind of thing. I am hoping for a very good experience, but I think without further ado, let's go ahead and get this lit up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And I would like to acknowledge I did include both the wrap. So I included both the stuff in the middle and the wrap kind of thing. So that might be a little bit of a factor as to why it's so good. I didn't just use the stuff in the middle. I'd used both parts kind of thing. So I did want to say that kind of thing. I did want to say that. But right off the bat, that was really good. It tastes just like the backwoods kind of thing. So much tar coming through already. Oh my goodness, so much tar coming through. But it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But right off the bat, I wish I had rolled this a little bit better and I wish I'd put a little bit more in, you know what I'm saying? But is, this is really, really good so far. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. 
I am legitimately impressed. Obviously, we're having a little bit of tar coming through. This is definitely very tar-y, a lot of tar coming from this, but this is getting me very buzzed, and it's coming on like a cigarette buzz. It's not really coming on like a cigar buzz. It's a, I would have to say it's a, about 70% cigarette buzz, 30% cigar buzz kind of thing. So the normal buzz I'm getting from this kind of thing is not the normal buzz I'm getting right now kind of thing. The normal buzz I would get from the backwoods is not the normal buzz I'm getting right now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I got that right, you know what I'm saying? But this is not bad at all, I gotta be completely honest with y'all, and this is getting me pretty buzzed, so I'm kinda, this is my first cigarette of the day, so I'm kinda waking up a little bit right now, so I do apologize if I get any of my words mixed up or anything like that. <sighs> but man, man oh man oh man, not bad at all, really not bad at all. I really want this as a cigarette, I really, really want this as a cigarette. This would be amazing seriously seriously i will not encourage you to try this or anything like that because i would go against youtube's community guidelines of course but i will be doing this again i will be doing this again i think i have another spare backwoods somewhere kind of thing and do i intend on doing this again do i intend on taking apart the whole thing and rolling another cigarette with it for sure for sure this is it's it's really good it's really good i gotta be completely honest with y'all i would love to see this as a cigarette I would love to see this as a cigarette. This would be amazing. But sadly, we're never going to see this as an actual cigarette. Maybe we could see this as a rolling tobacco or something like that where it's just a rolling tobacco kind of thing. I think that would be amazing. But sadly, we're never going to see this as a cigarette because flavored cigarettes are illegal. So we're never going to see it as a cigarette or anything like that. But as a flavored cigarette, is this good? Yes, 100%. It actually really does taste like the back, like this backwoods. It tastes like coffee. It tastes like vanilla. It tastes like, I didn't really taste any vodka. It says it tastes like vodka. I didn't taste any vodka, but it tastes like vanilla. It tastes like coffee. It tastes like dark chocolate, and it tastes amazing. I gotta be completely honest with y'all. This has overall been a fantastic experience. But man, man, oh man, wow. I am just seriously legitimately impressed I, I i didn't have this good of an experience with the last one that i tried i tried rolling a flavored cigarette with the tobacco from a cigarello kind of thing and i think the reason i didn't really enjoy that or really didn't get a, that good of an experience i'd have to say is probably because i didn't use any of the actual wrap the flavoring is where it is in the wrap kind of thing i don't think I, I i used any of the wrap or anything like that and so i only used the tobacco in the middle so i don't think i really got any good flavor i still got a little bit but not nearly as much as with this this is the way to do it kind of thing. If I'm gonna be doing this, cutting up a cigarello and making it into a cigarette kind of thing, I'm using the wrap. I gotta be completely honest with you. I'm using the wrap and the tobacco inside because this is just absolutely, absolutely fantastic. I gotta be completely honest with y'all. And it's smoking just like a cigarette too. It's smoking just like a cigarette too. Wow. And honestly, like I was expecting it maybe to be a little bit rough or something like that kind of thing. It's not rough at all. It is not rough at all. I am just legitimately impressed by this. I really am. I'm legitimately impressed by this. And I hope you guys are too. This is something that, honestly, I was not expecting to be all that good kind of thing. I was hoping it was going to be, obviously, but I was not expecting it to be all that good. This is pretty good, though. I got to be completely honest with y'all. And as an added benefit, it's still getting me buzzed. It's still getting me buzzed, which, as said, this is my first cigarette of the day, so I suppose it makes sense as to why it gets me buzzed kind of thing, because I don't really be smoking too many cigarettes kind of thing. I only be smoking four a day, of course. So, I mean, like, really really not bad kind of thing really not bad at all man yeah wow i'm impressed i'm impressed i gotta relight this real quick because this is kind of going out on one side kind of thing it's starting to canoe a little bit so i gotta i just gotta just gotta re get it relit like that that's my own fault for rolling it so badly but overall what would i rate my experience kind of thing solid nine out of ten solid nine out of ten for experience kind of thing solid I mean, like, if you've got a cigarello, a spare cigarello wrap or something like that, and you don't want to roll with any, any good good in it or anything like that, you kind of want a cigarette or something like that, boom. This is your, this, this, this could be your go-to kind of thing. It's a little bit more effort than just simply smoking the cigarello, but you're definitely going to get a slightly different buzz than with the, just if you smoke the cigarello, you're definitely going to get a little bit more of a cigarette buzz, not super much kind of thing. As I said, it's about 70-30 kind of thing. So you're not really going to get super much of a cigarette buzz, but you're definitely still going to get a pretty good buzz nonetheless if you are looking for a buzz and if you can get a buzz that is but man oh man I think I got a couple more hits left of this so I think I'm gonna go and take those in just a minute but this overall I'm so glad I tried this I'm so glad I tried this y'all I gotta be completely honest y'all so glad I tried this 
But man, oh man. Oof. Yeah. Wow. I am... I'm staggered right now. I'm staggered right now. But look at the filter. Look at the filter. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Yeah, definitely next time I got to get some actual papers that fit the filter correctly. <sighs> and it just burned my lips a little bit. And that's pretty much just canoed all out kind of thing. Yeah, there was not much tobacco left in that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just end the cigarette right there kind of thing. Overall, this experience has been a solid 9 out of 10. I said this has been an amazing experience. Definitely something I'm super glad I tried and definitely something that if you're looking at trying it kind of thing, of course, I'm not recommending it or anything, but let me know if you guys do try this and if you guys enjoy it, let me know down below kind of thing in the comments if you guys do try this, if you guys do enjoy it, let me know in the comments down below as said. But yeah, I think I'm going to go and end the video right here. This was a great experience and I'm super glad I tried cutting up a backwoods and rolling it into a cigarette, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I got my Instagram, my book, my merch, everything in the description down below. You know what I'm saying? Go, go check all that out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace. I got to be completely honest with y'all. Y'all better stay safe and and, and, and y'all you better be causing peace. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better be staying safe and causing peace. But yeah, until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace. And have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying?